Hey guys, I'm here with a good friend of mine, Jade. Now, there's not many courses that I do these days from a leadership perspective that I think, oh, well, I really need to do that course. But uh, when I heard about Jade's Leadership RX course, I thought, I actually said, Jade, can I just buy the whole thing and sign myself up? And she was running around trying to get me the links. And um, so I just wanted to ask Jade a really blunt question about the, so the first one is Emerge and it's on, is it the 28th, 29th of May, Jade? Yeah, it's a, a two-day program that runs from about 8.30 till 5 o'clock. And there aren't many spots left, actually, but uh, definitely for the Ultimate Physio group. Um, it'd be great to have some more business owners, particularly those that are mentoring and who are existing leaders who want to create more leaders, I guess, so to speak. So I've, I've signed up to the course and um, I, I get this really common question from people uh, who are interested in my leadership courses and Jade's leadership courses and other people that we follow um, because people will often sort of you know, extrapolate that they read some books on leadership and the books that they read give them all the tools that they need. And under, you know, trying and stressful scenarios, Jade, people think that they can just pluck out these tools that they've read from the book and use them, you know, adequately to get the result they want on the fly. And the stuff that I've always liked about, what I've really liked about your courses is, you tend to bring, you know, the science and the evidence to a lot of the concepts that, that I love learning about and teach as well. So um, do you want to, do you want to give me an idea and give the people watching this an idea, Jade, about why a course like this is actually much more uh, enriching for them and can change their habits a lot more than just reading a book and thinking that oh, I'll just apply the stuff out of the book that I just read. Yeah, look, I hear this all the time and, and to not sound patronizing, you can't read a Brene Brown or a Simon Sinek book and come out of that a leader. And I guess anyone who has really invested in leadership, and that's, that's what it is, it's an investment in personal development, knows that it is constant and it's a practice and it's something we need to do all the time. Just like exercise, we need to keep encouraging ourselves to do better and be better and to grow, to reflect and to look back. Now, we can do that by reading articles and books and all that sort of stuff all the time. But the difference is when we do that, we actually tap into our neocortex, which is when we read about how to action things, how to apply strategies and how to actually implement systems in our businesses and amongst our team. Leadership, on the other hand, and this is where many courses struggle, has to be taught from the limbic system, from the limbic part of the emotional driven part of the brain, because leadership is about not only how we respond in times of uncertainty, crisis, joy, it's how we want other people to respond. We want to empower people to act. We want to influence them. We want to share an inspired vision, challenge the status quo. You can't do that in the neocortex of the brain. So a lot of these courses, you can come along, you can learn about all different things, but at the end of the day, you need active tools and strategies and this is what I was just showing you before offline. If you don't mind, I might actually... No, I want, I want to have a look at it. I was going to ask okay. you. And, and to echo what you're saying, Jade, yeah, I tend to agree that, you know, how much of leadership is rational? Like, you know, where it, there's no emotion attached to the situation. Like almost 90, I reckon 90% of our leadership interactions are, are emotional. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And our job as leaders, I'm going to show you this here. Our job as leaders is to normalise emotion. We need to be vulnerable, which humanises authority. We need to build trust and rapport. But the difference is you can learn about all these strategies, but in the times of crisis or when you need to actually lead, you need to lead and adapt based upon the person in front of you and the emotions that they're experiencing. So this all ties back to emotional intelligence which is what I love and what my passion is. And it's part of that in the course, but also situational leadership theories, which was devised by a couple of researchers and ties into so many different modalities. And that is how do we know when to be high directive? How do we know when to offer low direction? And then vice versa when it comes to high support and low support, because we don't want to 
patronize our staff. If we've got a practice manager who's all over something and we start giving them high direction based upon our personality type, mm. then they're going to become offended. Micromanagement, hi. Hey. Absolutely. And this is where we tie it into the readiness level of our followers. What level are they at when it comes to the maturity of completing a task? So this is, I mean, look, this is one tiny little section. And then we also break it down into disc profiling and psychometric profiling, which I'm equipped to facilitate as well. Then we kind of go through and you can see here, I mean, there's 206 slides. This all comes as a full way uh, document, almost like a textbook. It's a resource. It's the gift that keeps giving. These slides are actually given in a tangible workbook. I think you've realized from my courses that are, uh, I don't just come in, talk, drop a few bombs and walk away. I'm left with a tool that, you know, my passion is for this information from business owners and leaders to be taken back to their team and regurgitated so we can create more great leaders. And then we kind of go into the emotional intelligence sections all the way down the bottom. I mean, gosh, the, the slides just start going forever. But we start to then also go into breakout groups, which is amazing where we actually... I give you tools and exercises to actually apply the knowledge that we learn, tap into that limbic system, and then to be able to discuss with peers and kind of like-minded people. I mean, I could talk about this sort of stuff all day, <laughs> but I guess how it differs is I want people to emerge confident, but more than that, to really tap into their convictions and their core principles and guiding principles that drive them in their practice. Being authentic as a leader is not trying to be somebody else. It's doing being the best of who you are. And I think a lot of leadership courses make you come out with imposter syndrome, thinking I can't do that mm. or that's not me, that's not in my personality. So Whereas you're helping dive, people be their true self. Yeah. So we deep dive into understanding what those personalities are, the personalities that we're trying to follow. And in short, I don't want to create more leaders. I want to give people the skills and tools to make them somebody that other people want to follow because followership is just as important as leadership. And I think that's where I really step outside the box and pride myself on doing so, I guess. And I'd say Jade to expand on what you've just presented. So I co-presented with Jade last year on a business growth summit. I've had Jade do an in-service for my team and I've, I've personally purchased the, the advanced disc profiles for me and my practice manager and my senior physio. And so like, I think, I think what you get with the stuff that you present is it's highly credible. It's very relevant to allied health. And I like the way that when you present, you do present, present in the emotional, like you don't, you, you favor emotional presenting over logical presenting, which, you know, I think the environment that you'll create for me and the other participants over those two days will definitely be one of self-reflection and emotion as opposed to just like looking at slides and listening, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be doing stuff together and that makes me excited. So um, yeah, in the interest of action taking Jade, what, what do you want the ultimate physio guys to do? Uh, look, there aren't many spots left, but I'd love more business owners. This is why I do it. This is my sweet spot. I've been business coaching for years. I stepped away from that because there's people like you who are already doing it really well but also in regards to time management, I really want short, sharp, chunky bursts of high quality content, but then you can keep coming back to it and then revisit it in your own time at your own pace. But just, you know, to be able to apply and to have a little bit of science behind what a lot of leaders do naturally as well, but to be a part of something bigger than yourself, to learn from other people, we've all got someone doing something better than ourselves a story, a lesson. Storytelling is powerful and this will give you an opportunity to tell your story and hear others and, you know, sit a, around a round table of highly qualified, highly motivated, highly inspiring people. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah, and I, I get excited about the other people attending. Like, we're all getting to know each other better and better. And, yeah, I think that the the thing that we never anticipate with, with courses and, and workshops and events is how much we learn from the other people attending as well. So uh, now you've got so much to offer Jade. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll drop a link up to the course with this video and you can check it out. And um, yeah, I'll be there and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you there.
Awesome. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thank you, Jade. Thanks for jumping me into your group. And I, I feel very welcome as an osteopath in the ultimate physio. Yeah. Uh, well, you've got so much to offer and, and uh, a different perspective. And I, I promise that the physios won't pinch all your osteopaths. <laughs> well, hey, it's a great <laughs> if you want to learn about osteopaths as well. Yes. Very true. Thank Thanks, you, Jade. Very, okay. Bye.